How do I know? How God? do you know if God is real? How can I be sure Jesus is who He says He is? What does God say about relationships? What does it look like to have an authentic relationship with God? You all paths lead to God. How can I know that Scripture is true? Who is Holy Spirit? What does Holy Spirit do? What is God even like? What is God even like? Why do bad things? Why do bad things happen if God is so good? What is God? We're always gonna have questions. When what we simply want to know is what's at the core. I was talking to two Buddhist monks just last week. And as I stood inside of the temple, asking them questions about the God that they have devoted their, their life to, I began to ask them some questions. I asked them if they'd ever heard of Jesus, and they said they had. I asked them if they'd ever heard of His Gospel, of His story, of what He did for us. And they said that they'd heard it. And I asked them, after it was all said and done, what do you think about Jesus? Both of them said, oh, he's, he's not bad. Putsuo, putsuo, is what they said. But the next question brought to a head exactly this question of who really is Jesus. As I began to think about this question, one of the first things that I wanted to do was review in my mind who it was that Jesus claimed to be. And the claims that he made are more than significant. He says he's the Son of God. More than that, he says he's the only begotten Son of God. He says that he's the Son of Man. He says that he's the Lord of the Sabbath, the light of the world, the resurrection and the life, the bread of life, the doorway to the sheep pen, the one who both guards and guides those sheep, and the good shepherd. And so as I talked to those monks, I asked them what they thought. That Jesus claiming to be the only way to heaven. And they were quick to go, oh no, that, that can't be. But then I was just as quick to come back and say, then he's not good like you said he was. He's not good because he's a liar. He is who he says he is or he's a liar or he is mentally unstable. What is the most likely truth based on the evidence? And if, if you sit back and just as a plain historical investigator and you, and you just want to try to get to the truth of who Jesus is, I think that if you're able to step into that third position and just ask those questions honestly, there are some questions that are beyond doubt truthful about who Jesus was as a historical figure. And the first one is that he was a historical figure. The Old Testament prophesies that Jesus would be, that the Messiah would be born of a virgin, that he would be the seed of Abraham, a descendant of Abraham, that he would be a descendant of Isaac from the tribe of Judah, that he would be of the family of Jesse, who is the father of King David, that he would be born at Bethlehem, that he would be presented gifts on his birth, and we know the wise men came and brought gifts to him, that children would be killed uh, in an attempt to kill him, that, uh, that he would be called Lord and Emmanuel, which means God with us, uh, and so on. Altogether, uh, there are something over 50 messianic prophecies of Jesus that are fulfilled. Some, some calculate even more than that. As long as they were written before the time of Christ, and they were, even the harshest of liberal critics still hold that these Old Testament books were written well over a century before the time of Christ then all that needs to be shown is that their prophecies were true, that they came to pass as they prophesied them. And that's exactly the case. Every reliable historical document will lead you to the understanding that not only was he a historical figure, but there was a huge historical movement that began at the time of his life 
and grew even more distinct and broader and grander after his death. It's most certainly true that those historical figures who were disciples of Jesus laid down their lives ultimately believing that Jesus was who he says he is. And it's just almost impossible for me to believe that a group of people would die for a lie. There's no real doubt. It's just not really possible to sit there and go, well, I don't think Jesus was real. There's way too much historical evidence out there that talks about that Jesus was real. That's not even really the question. The question is, is who is Jesus? Is he really who he says he is? Is he really God's son? Over and over and over, when people came in contact with Jesus, they couldn't stay the same way. Something about him changed them. And they came to that, that tension and to that crossroads. Not everybody wanted to believe. Not everybody did believe. Not all of you listening to this will believe. But for those who are truly looking for answers and not looking to excuse away, there began to, to become just this overwhelming sense from all the testimony of so many different people that Jesus actually is who he says he was. And no matter how good of a historical investigator I am or how good of a uh, historical investigator I read, they cannot supply you and I with certainty. But I am certain. So where does that come from? I believe, ultimately, the only answer to this question is that somewhere we meet Christ and we know who He is. I think that's the testimony of the Holy Spirit who came to convict and to convince. And ultimately, my job is not to historically convince anybody that Christ is who He says He is. It's simply to introduce you to Him. And to tell you that if you meet Him, you will become certain.